Hey guys, it's Alex here, and at the top of the page I have my CA question that I was given, and that is, in how many ways can a team of five people be formed out of a total of ten such that two particular people should be included in each team? So, um, I, I went ahead and underlined the information that we are given in the problem, and that is that we are choosing from a total of ten people, and we are making teams of five and the only condition is that two particular people must be in each group. So to kind of illustrate this problem for you guys, I I drew ten six fi uh, ten stick figures here to to represent the ten people that we are choosing from, and I set aside two of them to represent the two people that must be included in each group. I'll make them a little bigger. So you can see there, and down here I have just five possible, the five spots for on the team, and and uh, these are any of the five po possible slots. So what I want, uh, what what you guys need to understand to solve this problem is that in the this group can have any characteristic that people can be chosen in any order. Or and, and in any way, as long as these two people are in the group, then it follows the condition that are given in the problem. So as long as this member and this member are right there in every single group, as long as that is true, then then it meets the conditions that are given in the problem. So what we need to ask ourselves is, is this a combination or so as I mentioned before, the order does not matter in which they are chosen. I can move, I can move these guys around I, any way I want, and it will still meet the the parameters of the problem as long as those members are in the team. So we know it's a combination. And what you guys want to do is, and see, you all know this equation. We all want to do 10C5, right? Because we are given in the problem that there, we are choosing from a total of 10 people, and we are choosing 5 people at a time. <clears throat> but this is not, that is not, in this case, how you solve the problem. The way, the way you would solve this is you would remove these two given people from your total and from the amount of people that you're choosing. So, in other words, instead of 10C5, we would do 8C3. And that, you know, is equal to 7, 8 times 7 times 6 over 3 factorial, which is equal to 56. So there are 56 ways to so, to choose a t to choose a team of five members from this total of ten.